I think from the oncologist perspective, um, this begs the question of how often, how long, and how do we follow these patients with surveillance imaging. Certainly recurrences are happening for long periods of time. Um, and if you look at other data sources, um, although our recurrence rates were not as high as what's published in the literature, um, there is data that suggests that almost all patients do eventually recur. So we need additional data in terms of modalities, frequency, um, and duration of surveillance imaging in order to identify recurrences at a point at which patients actually are amenable to additional therapies for their treatment. Um, in addition, we took a look in this uh, data set at the number of pulmonary recurrences, um, which I think is an interesting question for patients who have a primary tumor um, in the small bowel, the colon, the rectum, or the pancreas. And we identified actually only one pulmonary recurrence, um, which begs the question of whether or not there should be any role for including chest surveillance imaging as part of the routine surveillance for these patients.